next very important job I have to do on my race car transporter is fit this 12,000 pound electric winch. Way over the top, I know, especially for a, a little Honda Civic hatchback that weighs two thirds of what it did when it came out of the factory. This winch will pull anything onto the tray of this race car transporter, including a four wheel drive. One of my uh, rules is that when you're buying a winch, buy the biggest one you can find and afford. Um, and this has got uh, 10 mil nylon rope on it, so it won't have all those twisting wire problems that you get when you've got wire there. I've got to figure out where I'm going to mount it. And uh, there was a couple of possibilities. The most common place guys mount winches is right here in the middle. But if I mount the winch right back there, it becomes something that the car will hit up against. And so instead of the car being able to go fully up on the tray of my race car transporter, we'd be back about that far. And I can't afford to lose that much weight. So having the winch there up on top of the table uh, isn't, isn't a viable option in my situation. I had carefully considered putting the winch inside the cabin of the truck under the bed with the cable coming out, um, which would keep it away from thieves and out of the weather and so forth. But the problem I had is this steel checkerboard plate. I owned an art about having a series of rollers and bringing the, having the, the um, winch down on the floor of the truck, the cable coming up, over, down, back out there. It was just going to be too complicated. And then I thought, well, rather than going up and over the top, I could drill a hole and go right through. But when I looked at this closely, I discovered I can't do that because this isn't a single piece of steel checker plate. It's a long range uh, diesel fuel tank that goes the full width of the tray and is about that deep. So <laughs> that's a great bonus. I didn't fully appreciate that I was getting that when I bought the truck. Just another extra, but obviously I can't drill a hole and go through there, that's too complicated. That left me with two other possibilities for the winch. With the curvature of the front of my car, there is a space here that's just big enough to put the winch here uh, and and out to a pulley in the middle. I'm still thinking about that spot, but uh, I'm going to try another option that my son James has suggested. And that is put the winch in the middle of the tray, but recess it so that the top of the winch is level with the top of the floor. So I'm going to try and do that. That will get over my problem and uh, it'll also keep the winch out of sight. What I've got to do is I've got to get underneath the truck and see what's going on with the subframe and whether I can um, put in a little frame to hold that winch there.
last year has been really work hard on my mental game. Don't sweat the small stuff. That's definitely different. I'm just wiring up the extra tail lights that I fitted to the floor extensions on the back of the tray of the truck. And because these come on and off the truck, then they need to have a plug-in uh, wiring system. So I've just used standard trailer plugs. This one will go down and connect to the standard um, trailer plug near the toe, toe ball. And then I've also fitted a female plug there. And that will allow the wires from the other side to come across from the other tail light and just plug into there. So these will have just uh, easy plug in and plug out.